The Pythagorean theorem states that for any right triangle, the sum of the squares of the length of the legs equals the square of the length of the hypotenuse. A and B are the two legs that form the right angle, and C is the hypotenuse of the right triangle, which is always the longest side opposite the right angle. To find the unknown length of the right triangle, we use the Pythagorean theorem. A and B represents the two legs that form the right angle, and C is the hypotenuse, which is opposite the right angle. Substitute 5 for A and 9 for B, and X for C. Please note that A and B are interchangeable because they both represent legs. Let's solve for X by simplifying the expression on the left side. 5 squared is 25, plus 9 squared is 81, which equals X squared. Combine 25 and 81 to get 106. Finally, we take the square root of both sides to isolate x. Since there is no perfect square factor in 106, square root of 106 is in its simplest form. Let's use the Pythagorean theorem to find the unknown length x. a and b are the legs of the right triangle that form the right angle, so replace a with 12 and b with x. C is the hypotenuse, which is 13 feet in this case. We solve for x by first evaluating powers. 12 squared equals 144. Bring everything else down. 13 squared equals 169. To isolate x squared, subtract 144 from both sides, giving us x squared equals 25. Finally, take the square root of both sides to undo the squaring operation. The square root of 25 equals 5. Therefore, x equals 5 feet. Here's another example. Using the Pythagorean theorem, replace x for a, 6 for b, since they represent the legs of the right triangle. Then substitute 14 for c, since it is the hypotenuse of the triangle. Evaluating powers, x squared plus 6 squared is 36, equals 14 squared is 196. To isolate x, first subtract 36 from both sides leaving us with x squared equals 160. Then square root both sides to undo the squaring operation. Square root of 160 can be simplified by extracting the perfect square factor. Since 16 is a perfect square factor of 160, it simplifies to 4, leaving the remaining factor 10 under the square root. Therefore, x equals 4 times square root of 10 meters. Now it's your turn. Grab a pencil and a sheet of paper if you can, and give it a shot. I'll be revealing the answers in just 10 seconds, so pause the video and test your skills.